What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fultron Plays Minecraft on the Timeshot server. I am sitting comfortably inside my house right now. Uh, we need to do some work on this thing. You know? <laughs> I would love to get a lot of work done. It's Sunday night right now, and uh, tomorrow is Memorial Day. I don't have to be at work. Screw it, man. It's almost 11 o'clock. I'm going to get some work done on this thing. It's going to be fantastic. Um, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? You having a good time? I hope you are. That needs to be a little bit higher, I think. I think this whole wall has to be a little bit higher. Do I have enough to do it? I think I do. Um, so I've been messing around a lot with Minecraft today. I've been doing a lot, actually. Um and finally figured out some cool stuff uh like for instance um i can now run shaders and optifine at the same time uh some of you are like hey cool fultron welcome to like five months ago um that's great that's great that you're smart i'm happy for you uh i like to go at my own pace and learn things so leave me alone <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Um, but uh, here's the thing. So I couldn't figure... I have, Okay. I couldn't figure out how to uh, do both at the same time. Uh, but now the new Optifine actually has shaders built in, which is great. It's fantastic. Uh, only other problem, it runs great. I mean, you know, look at it right now. We're getting 60 frames a second. Do, 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 do. Perfect, right? Okay, that probably just completely pixelized the entire frame. Um, but here's the other thing. Here's the, uh, here's the problem. I can't necessarily run mods uh, at the same time. Um, now, other good news, though. I did figure out how to run modded Minecraft with Optifine. Uh, I did figure that part out, which is good. Um, the, the only problem is, you know, the reason I wanted to do that was because... I wanted to uh, to do replay mod. Well, replay mod, as of right now, is not compatible with Optifine if you want to export things. Um, <laughs> which leads me to some other bad news. It's just a string of good news, bad news. Um, I can't seem to export my replays on replay mod. I hear ya. Who wants some? You you want some. hi -ya. That's right. What's all? Somebody's got Smite 5. What's up? How's it going? It's me. I have Smite 5, in case you were still wondering about that. Ooh. Um, so... What was I saying? Optifine. Yeah, so I can't, uh... That's still up. I can't export out of replay mod, which is fine. What I can do is I can just replay, I can just press play on the thing and just record it with my, my screen recording program, I guess, you know, technically that's allowed, right? Um, but uh, having trouble with the exports, it's just giving me like a blue, a blue screen. Oh, I remember what I needed to do. Um, it's just giving me a blue screen, not like blue screen of death, but like a very light sky blue. It's very peaceful, <laughs> but frustrating at the same time because I can't do anything about it. Um, so that's going on. But then, uh, on top of that, I also, um, uh, what, what else is, what else is going on? Maybe that was it. Maybe that was all the news about that. That might have been it. But, uh, so yeah. So like right now, I can just go options, video settings, shaders, go to Zeus, do your thing. Mm, do you think? There you go. And... There you go. I mean, look at how smooth that is. I'm getting I'm getting 60 frames per second on Zeus Extreme or Zeus Ultra right now. Isn't that crazy? And I'm recording. Hello, Optifine. Now it dips down once I like start to look at spawn and whatnot. But uh but still really good. See now it's like 49. Yeah. But still, I mean that's that's pretty good stuff, you know. I'd say. I mean, look at this field right now. Let's sleep. Shall we? We shall. Let's. So proper. Hi. <laughs> Catch it on the way down. Um, 
so that's kind of what's going on with the replay mod thing um i'm not quite comfortable with it yet it has quite a learning curve uh you really got to kind of practice using it if you want it to look good and i'm i'm a perfectionist man i really am and so i i will spend so much time trying to make sure i get it right um which is a blessing and a curse you know i guess um, I think that's all that we need to do to this side here. Now these windows, let's go ahead and put up some temporary lighting. Um, and then, how did I do this? Let me check my, uh, let me check my, my side thing here. Okay. So it looks like, it looks like we've got stairs. We can get rid of the three middle ones like that. And then, I think these as well. Okay, and then we did stairs. So I need to, I need to go make some stairs. Um, but, uh, so yeah, some good news, bad news about all that. Eventually I'll get back to where I can do some time lapses and stuff like that for you guys. Uh, it's just, it takes some time to get used to all this and uh, there's, there's good things and bad things about Replay Mod. I think uh, the user interface is a little tricky um, just the, just the way that it, it works is kind of odd, but, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. Just the way it is. That's the way it is. Come here. Um, so then we can do that. We can do that. And then put that there. Okay, and then I think I did something with the lanterns here. I did, um, I put one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then I filled in the gaps with some of this action. Like this. And then I think this goes across. And then, uh, this. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And then I had I had some fancy business uh over here with the uh the inside of it. So check this out. You do a little bit of this action, you go Shazam. Now wait a second. I did it wrong. I done did it wrong. Okay, hold on. Let me figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I figured it out now. <laughs> I, so at the beginning of the episode, you know how I was like, oh, this, this wall is too short. It's because I was looking at a screenshot of the outside, uh, which has this other layer of stone brick here. So I thought this layer was actually this layer, and then I built it up too high, and then I had to redo the whole thing, and mistakes were made, and that's just the way it is. Um, so you do that. And then here, we put stairs again. Like, oh, not like that. Ha 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 ha, you're silly. Come here, you. Okay, huh, huh, hey, there we go. So it looks like that. And that's that situation. Yeah, so we'll do that over here. Um, something else cool that's happening. Um, so just randomly today, I was like, you know what? I should probably have a store where people can get stuff that uh, that has my logo on it. Um, not because I, I think people need that in their lives necessarily, but people have asked about t-shirts and stuff like that. I have a, a Fultron t-shirt from a Teespring campaign I did a while ago, and so I know people have asked me about that, and... Um, I've just said, you know, go sign up for the Teespring campaign and they'll reboot it. Um, and nobody has, <clears throat> excuse me, nobody has. So, which is fine. Um, but I figure I need a place where I can just have it happen naturally and people aren't, uh, you know, having to, aren't feeling the pressure of having to go and kickstart another campaign in order to get a t-shirt made. So, um, Teespring has its benefits and it has its things that, that make it worthwhile, 
but uh, it's probably best if um, you know it's it's just a store where you can go do what you need to do. So uh, what that means is that I've created a store, uh, and it is at uh, www. That's the World Wide Web, for those of you that don't know. Uh, Society6.com slash Fultron. And that, my friends, is a store where you can buy a bunch of things with my logo on it, including um, T-shirts, uh, iPhone cases, stuff like that. Uh, lots of different T-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, all that kind of stuff to choose from. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and sleep. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. And um, I haha, sleep at night. <laughs> sleep at night, he says. She says, is Minecraft a girl or a boy? I don't really know. There we go. Um, so it's up to you. It's out there. I'll be updating uh, more logos and stuff like that uh, eventually. Um, like right now, I have the Patreon t-shirt, uh, which uh, looks like this. Should be up on the screen right now. If I forgot, y'all can yell at me in the comments and uh, I'll figure it out. Uh, but that's what, what the, uh, that's what the logo looks like for the new Patreon t-shirt, which is pretty stinking cool. If you ask me, this needs to come all the way down. Let's go make some black glass. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited about that design. But that is exclusive to patrons only who have pledged $20 or more. So there you have it. There's that doodad. All right. Um, let me get my bearings on this next part of the build. And we will get moving and grooving on this uh, next floor. All right. Sound good? Okay. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Okay, so uh, I finished off this floor. So let's head down here and I'll kind of show you what we've got here. So uh, we've got these windows on the side, these little white windows here. Um, they, they're a little more see-through in regular non-shader texture pack thing shaders. Uh, so I like it. It looks good. This is going to be kind of like a... Um, this is actually going to be an enchanting area right here. And then, um, I forget what this is over here, but it's something else. I don't remember what it is, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so this will be my enchanting area. There's going to be a little decoration here. And then up here is the storage and crafting and, and smelting area. So obviously it's the biggest. Uh, and in fact, um, it goes all the way out here, but then it also goes out uh, one more like this so we get a little get a little extra uh room here it's gonna be quite a beefy section um this little uh this little crafting area oh that didn't do that right already oh that was right though this can go right there and then i can put that there but then i need to put this one here so yeah so quite a quite a hefty tower i've actually finished it in my creative world um and uh it's it's huge um not in the sense that like you would look at it and be like holy crap that's enormous uh in in just like how much square footage it takes up i guess but more so in the sense that like um i guess you're just gonna have to see it this section right here really throws off kind of uh, the size of it because um, it sticks out so far from the rest of the tower. There's the the battle boob casting a shadow on my tower. Uh, so refreshing <laughs> to know that the boob watches over me. Um, okay, so then this actually comes like that. And then is that... Yes, okay, so now we can go back and get rid of all these things. These little inlets. We don't want them. We don't want them in our lives. No, thank you. All right. And good. So, I mean, look at how much space we have. 
so much room for activities <laughs> right it's gonna be great um so let me take some time uh before we close out the episode i'm gonna i'm gonna work on these walls and then kind of show you guys how this section is gonna start looking and then then we'll get going on it all right uh i'll be right back all right guys so we've got a little bit more of the outer wall done on the third floor uh let's see how it looks from out here I need to eat some food get on up okay yeah look at that yeah i mean this looks beautiful right i mean <laughs> these lanterns and just this grass that's waving and then the the little like just the peaks the little little peekaboos of light right there peekaboos what the crap am i talking about <laughs> the weirdest adjective i could have chosen to to describe that let's uh let's head on inside let's take a sleep and make it daytime hi and then uh see what she's looking like all right okay Come on now. Good job. Thank you very much. Get on up. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, I started that high. <laughs> but I committed. That's what counts. Let's see here. Yeah. I mean, look at... Okay, yes. You know what? In my creative world... It looks a little odd because it's just sitting there in this flat world by itself. But I mean, surrounded by this and just, I mean, the battle boob and everything, it's just, it's really coming together. I think this is going to look majestic here. Let's head on up into an Aegis little lookout spot. Hi. Ever used a ladder before? Thank you. Um, through here? Yep. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir, Bob. Now, the other side of it isn't so pretty. Uh, there's some interior decorating that has to be done uh, to make it look a little better. But I think, I'm pretty sure, we're out of time. Uh, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Huh? Ah! good thank you guys so much for watching uh please leave a like on this episode if you enjoyed it and uh be sure and leave a comment down in the comment section about what you think about the design any ideas you guys have to smooth things out make things a little better uh i love to hear from you and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe please please subscribe if you want to all right thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time this is it for Fultron plays minecraft on the time shot server Fultron out <laughs>